Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to tackle uh, the kitchen. And we're going to use our compass row strategy just like we've been doing the other rooms. We're going to work on the north wall, then the east wall, the south wall, and the west wall. One wall a day. Now, I don't have a super large kitchen, but like everybody else, I have cabinetry and, you know, we store so much in our kitchens. It takes a long time to clean it. So we're going to use that compass row strategy so that we don't become overwhelmed and that we keep our goals manageable. Uh, cleaning one wall a day is not really that time consuming. It may take a little bit of time. But it's not like tearing your whole kitchen apart and trying to do it all in one day. That's way too frustrating. No one has time for that. Life is too busy. So we're going to try and tackle one wall a day. We're going to do everything on that wall. So if you have appliances on your north wall, then you're going to clean the appliances. Clean out your refrigerator, clean your oven. Cabinetry, we're going to pull everything out of the cabinets, clean it up. We want to make sure we maintain breathability in our cabinetry space. We want to embrace the space. We want to make sure that we're not having to take out tons and tons of stuff to get one item out because we'll avoid and avoid is not a productive strategy. We will avoid putting things away, which is going to add to clutter in our home. So if your cabinets are overstuffed and overcrowded, I guarantee you there's stuff laying on your countertops that you haven't put away because you avoid it. It's too much work and you're too busy. So we're going to try and tackle that. When I cleaned out um, one of my kitchen cabinets in my Virginia house, I sold all the things that I didn't want to keep and I made $225. Um, just stuff I wasn't going to use. So be thinking when we're cleaning out the cabinets, what am I realistically going to use? If you're not going to use it, it's just clutter and you don't need that much stuff. We're going to talk about later in the week um, the small appliances. So if you have small appliances on this wall, you want to go ahead and clean those. Remember to write the serial number. You want to make sure that you have those in your inventory. But take a picture of them. But you, your kitchen needs to be breathable. You can't suffocate in your kitchen and expect to be able to cook or to provide nice meals for your family because it's too overwhelming streamline your kitchen, you'll be able to function better, you'll cook more, you'll be more comfortable in your kitchen, and it actually becomes a place where your family can get engaged. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to gather our supplies. So you need your Murphy's oil spray and your Listerine spray. These are really important. You're going to need your broom, you're going to need your safety goggles, and your mask, your germ barrier mask, although it's just really for dust and debris from your ceiling when you sweep your ceiling. So you'll want those as extra safety. You also are going to want your washcloths, your flour sack towels, and in the case of the kitchen, uh, I suggest when you're cleaning, you're sweeping your ceiling in your kitchen and cleaning your light fixture, use some sheets or some fabric and go ahead and cover your countertops because we still have to work in our kitchen. And if we have all the ceiling debris down on it, then we're going to have to clean the countertops before we get started. So if you just put fabric or old shower curtains or drop cloths or whatever you have on hand and put it on your counters so that way you can just take them, shake them off outside and it's less cleaning. Also going to need some towels, old towels, so that you can stack your items when you pull them out of the cabinets. You want your items to be on a towel, especially if you're working on the floor because getting up and down and up and down is going to wear you out. So you want to go ahead and have some towels so you can lay them out on the floor. You can use your drop cloths or your sheets, but if you want towels, then that way you can just lay them on the floor, take things out of the lower cabinets, put them on the towels while you clean out your cabinets. And we're going to go through that process. The other thing I like to have is a vacuum with a wand so I can just reach in and vacuum out drawers and the back of the cabinets before I spray them out with my Listerine spray. So we're going to get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get your safety goggles on and your mask if you want to wear your mask. And then you're going to take your broom and you're going to sweep your ceiling. Sweep, sweep your ceiling. Get all the dust and debris down. You can already see it falling. Go ahead and um, put your 
drop claws along your counters, and go ahead and sweep your ceilings. Then the next thing you're going to want to do, clean your light fixture. Take it down, clean the glass, get all the, the greasy, oily film that's on top of it. It's going to make you feel better, and we want to make sure that our light fixture is clean. So those are the first two steps. Sweep your ceiling, clean your light fixture, and then we're going to go ahead and get started on the north wall. I'm going to, I'm, I don't have much on my north wall. Uh, my cottage is kind of open, so my north wall is my bar. You know, that place where everybody sits and where everything gets dumped when they come in the house. So we're going to get started on that. I have drawers and cabinets on this wall, and that's what I'm going to clean today. If you have appliances on your north wall, you'll want to clean them. If you have um, any kind of your pantry, go ahead and clean that out. So whatever is on your north wall, we're going to clean today. And I'm going to start on my cabinet work, and we're going to do the whole kitchen by the end of the so week. Here I am on the north wall, and I'm going to start by putting a towel down on my countertop because I'm going to take everything out of these drawers and I'm going to put them on the counter so that I can clean out the drawers and organize them. Next, I use my Listerine spray and a cloth and I just wipe out the drawer. And you want to wipe along the sides of the drawer as well. Get any kind of foodstuffs. So wipe down the whole inside of the drawer. And then the next step is to kind of just organize everything as you put it back in. So you want to make sure it's nice and neat so you can get to it, that everything is nice and organized in the drawer, and everything belongs in a little dedicated space. Anytime you have something that might leak, you'll want to go ahead and put it in some sort of protection, protective pouch of zip top bag, or in this case, it's a little school pencil bag. That way, you don't have gunky leaks in your drawer. that the inside of the drawer is organized. This is all Declan stuff, some office stuff. So we just keep everything nice and organized so that we can find it when we need it. Okay, now we come to the big job, and that's our cabinetry. So we want our cabinets to be clean and spacious. We want our kitchen to feel good, and we want it to be clean and as germ-free as possible. So we're going to take everything out of the cabinet. You can see here I have a towel on the floor that is ready to go. And I'm going to begin by pulling everything out of the cabinet, and then I'm going to clean the cabinetry on the inside. So. I just start by taking everything out. 
and putting it on the towel on the floor. The cabinet is empty, so now, as I just do a quick vacuum, now I'm going to spray it with my Listerine spray to make the inside of my cabinets clean and germ-free. Next, I'm going to start putting everything in the cabinet, but I want to make sure that it's organized and I have lots of space to be able to move around in the cabinet so that I don't have to take five things out to get one item. I want to just get, I want to be able to reach in and get what I want. So we're going to start cleaning the items before we put them in. So I'm going to use my Listerine spray and my flour sack towels, and I'm just gonna give everything a quick wipe down before I put it back into my clean cabinetry. your glassware. Um, when we cook a lot with our glassware, it kind of gets a little brown film on it. And you know what I'm saying. It's clean, but it doesn't look or feel clean. In order to do, to get rid of that, you can use a little baking soda and water and make it into a paste, and then just clean your glass. And when we work on our kitchens, there's all kinds of grease in the air. There's, you know, dust particles that you don't have to be fanatical about it, but if you're gonna go ahead and clean out your cabinets, you might as well just give everything a quick wipe down. That way you can check everything and make sure it's something that you're actually gonna use, but also that it's in good working order. This just takes some of the residual grease off, maybe left over, didn't quite get all the grease off in the dishwasher. You just kind of give everything just a quick wipe. It's not that time consuming. You're able to really put your hands on the things in your kitchen and know what you're going to use, what you're not going to use. and. It gives me a good idea of what I want to purge. If it's not something that I've used in a while or I have a more updated item, then it's something that I would consider purging. You know, we're kind of just taking care of our tools. These are the tools that we use to feed our family, to make healthy meals. So we want them to be clean. We want them to be in good working order and we also want to be able to assess if there's something that needs to be replaced.
and we have my north wall is clean. Now I'm going to clean the outside of my cabinets. Now I have to do this cabinet in here, but it's very awkward. So now I'm going to use the Murphy's oil soap and you can see the drip marks from my coffee. We're going to just spray the outside of the cabinets down with the Murphy's oil soap. And just wipe the outside of your cabinetry. So, work on your north wall, and if you have an appliance on your north wall, or you have um, your microwave or your coffee maker, those are the things you want to clean, but you want to clean out your cabinets too. So I'm going to start cleaning out this cabinet and then um, that's it for my north wall. I'm going to clean the top of the countertop off and then that's, that's my day for the north wall. You can see how this compass row strategy really works because I still have the rest of my day and I'm not taking all my time to clean my kitchen. Okay, so now I'm just going to clean the countertop. Voila, 